NHL 16, it was the New York Islanders. NHL 17, it was the New York Rangers and the Manhattan Project. And now, in NHL 18, this random tradition continues as we close out the year by taking control of a New York-based team. It's going to have to end next year unless we say, eh, New York, New Jersey, and take control of the Devils. That Spoiler alert, probably. This year, NHL 18, we close out the year by taking control of the Buffalo Sabres. So along with the Milwaukee Osprey series, both are technically straightforward series. But I have this episode titled Episode Zero for a reason. While this is a straightforward series, meaning it's not like Draft of Glory, it's not like Nations United, it's not like the Sea Cattle series... I do want your input as far as what we should do for this series. As far as whether or not there should be any rules in place, uh, whether or not you guys just say, eh, screw it, have some fun, do whatever the hell you want, try to win some cups at the end of the year. I want to know from you guys what you think we should do. Then Maybe that even includes the morale system. I'll leave it up to you. I want to know down in the comments below, of course, what you think this series should uh, the series, the shisha sh- 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 What do you think this series should be? How challenging should this be? Any rules, guidelines that I should have to follow? Leave a comment. If you see a comment you agree with, thumbs it up. And it can be for anything. Player morale, injuries. Uh, but again, it is going to be straightforward. So it's not going to be draft or glory style. But if we want to put a limit on draft picks, if we want to put a limit on the number of trades, the number of free agent signings, anything like that, I am 100% down for that. And, of course, hell, it could even be draft pick ownership, although I think we'll probably leave that on authentic. Of course, we are dealing with the updated roster. So, we do not have Rasmus Dahlin. Again, yet again, I'll plug the roster editing spectacular. Go and check that out. But, of course, if we wanted to, year one could be about tanking to try and make sure that we get Rasmus Dahlin. Might make sense, given that, of course, we had to leave the 2018 entry draft the way it is. Of course, some players would have been able to be moved over to their NHL team, uh, others not. Uh, Rasmus Dahlin being 17, he wouldn't have been able to have been moved. So I wanted to set this up as an episode zero. Of course, I did the same thing with the first Milwaukee episode, just kind of giving you guys a look at what the team is and what that series is. And we're in the same spot here. I couldn't decide. I knew it was going to be Buffalo, right? I knew it was going to be Buffalo. But just what I wanted the rules to be specifically, instead of just sitting here and racking my brain on what am I going to do, what should these rules be, what better way than to just turn it over to you guys and say, hey, what are we going to do? What do you think? Do I have free reign to do whatever I want? Are there rules that should be implemented? You guys get the point. I'm excited for this, though. Like I said, uh, we have this tradition somehow of using New York-based teams. The Sabres made sense. And the Sabres have a lot to live up to. We found success with the Islanders. We found success with the New York Rangers. Whether or not we have time, especially, too, depending on the restrictions, but whether or not we have time to turn this team into a winner, uh, that is a very, very good question. We only have that one extra draft pick from Minnesota. We do have Lukanen in goal, of course, having to rely on Carter Hutton right now. We are a ways away from any sort of contention, regardless of whether or not there are any restrictions for me in this series. So I wanted to give you guys a look at the team early on. Again, if you watch the roster editing spectacular, you would know uh, what we are dealing with. But again, just to get you a look at some of the trade values as well and every player that we have available. Again, if you're confused about some of the cap hits, check out the editing spectacular. That covers everything. And I suppose, yeah, we'll take a quick look at the free agent list, which... uh, Really not a whole lot of help, and it really wouldn't make sense for us to sign anybody anyway, especially if we wanted to go for Darlene. Uh, Emile Poirier might be the one signing that we end up making. Uh, and, of course, you know, a Mason or a Lettinen, but you know, maybe a backup goalie. Maybe a backup goalie. Depends on what the rules are. So, 
let me know. As I said, down in the comments below, any suggestion for a rule or whatever, whether or not you think I should have no restrictions, a ton of restrictions, I want to make this series about your feedback here as we head towards the end. And it'll be a combination. Uh, the most thumbs up comments on top of just ideas in general that I like. And I point to the Seattle Sea Cattle series where, again, it was a random comment from a longtime viewer, shout out to Ice Hawks, who said, hey, let's try, it'd be cool to see you try something this restrictive. I am more than all right with having the Sabre series be, hey, one trade a year, two free agent signings, who knows. Looking forward to what you guys have to come up with, though. I'm looking forward to this series. And again, can we bring a New York team to glory for the third straight year to close out an NHL game? I'm excited to find out. I look forward to your comments. Thank you for watching. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell, and tell everybody who's ever breathed oxygen, including the animals. Thank you. Love you. Goodbye for now.